So we're about to charge our Tesla. Oh, did you plug it? I plugged it. It's pouring. Chester, we need a jacket for you. You wanna lay down there? Take your shoes off and lay down with Chester back there. Chester is a little bit... Chester doesn't like to travel. So we stopped to charge our Tesla for the first time. And we were driving from Los Angeles towards San Francisco. Two hours, 45 minutes. And Tesla recommended for us to charge it right now. So we own uh, 28%. Chester is whining <laughs> right there. Uh, he's very old. He's 15 years old and he doesn't really like cars. He's actually okay flying, but um, he doesn't really like cars that much. So right now we're charging our Tesla and we're gonna continue with our trip to Big Sur. Big Sur is gonna be our first um, official stop. And then after that we're gonna keep going and we're gonna be in San Francisco in probably like four hours. We're taking a little break in feeding Chester. So we're gonna go to Soledad. I'm taking the route to Stay Pineapple, but we're gonna make a turn to Big Sur on the way. Okay. This just gives me a better route to get to the charger. That's still close to the Big Sur. Mm -hmm. It's a different direction. Very hard to get to Big Sur. We uh, made a stop. With a Tesla. To get a McDonald's. Oh yeah, there's the Tesla because we need a supercharger. Not just a bag girl. Big Sur has a supercharger, just getting there, the way next to the ocean is difficult. Okay, so we're going around. We're not going through there. So I'll take one, I'll charge at Soledad, I'll charge at Big Sur, and then I'll charge closer to home, to the hotel. It's a lot of charging today. But on the way, we're getting our car charged for the third time. Yeah, so we're supposed to drive to San Francisco for like six hours, but instead we're driving for like ten. Yeah, the normal route to San Francisco takes around six hours, a little over six hours. But if you go along the coast, it can take upwards of almost 12 hours. Um, I didn't really know we were going to go to Big Sur. So I might have opted to take your car and take the gas car instead. I think we're gonna have to charge like four times just to get to San Francisco. And each time takes around 35 minutes to charge, so. That's like two hours of charging. Oh my God. And Tesla told us on the big soil, she demanded us to drive first to this supercharger, which are we going uh, right now. So only after the charging she will proceed to take us to Big Sur. Right. But it is nice, it's comforting. I like not having to drive the whole way. And Chester has a really big seat in the back, so that's also nice. It's hiding back there. Chester is sleeping. Yeah, or something. Usually when they have a stand, it's something that's on a vine. You can see more vines right here. Number three finally happened. And while we're charging, we're gonna walk Chester. Just a little bit. From yeah. Okay, it's been a minute. We're still not there yet, but we stopped by to charge our Tesla and I bought some snacks. For some reason, I can't stop eating.
fine. Watch him, I'm gonna go pee. Close it, lock the door. Guys, I cannot believe this, but there is no rain. <laughs> we made it here. This is the bridge. It's beautiful. There is no people over here because... Oh, there is Jacob and my dog. There is no people because of the weather. I guess everybody got scared. So we're all alone here and there is sun shining. There is black leaf behind me. You can see and no rain no storm the weather is beautiful even though in los angeles it's probably rainy but here in las vegas here in san francisco is perfect weather guys i'm so happy so what i like about san francisco is that you can see all the cliffs and mountains everywhere beautiful beaches like this and this is only beginning to see what, what what the view was yeah i know chester's so lucky my lucky travel dog he's everywhere with me We're all alone. We're so happy with the timing. It's sunset, it's golden hour. No one is here. Look around. Nobody. Our last charging station before San Francisco, I hope. We're here again at Tesla Charger. It's our charging situation number four, I think, right? Number and four. I think if we charge all the way, we can get there. I still have like 50% left. So next time we're gonna be charging tomorrow only, right? Right. And while we wait, we might go to get some Starbucks or something else because we still have like two and a half or three hours left. So we're probably not gonna get to San Francisco until 8.30. So we need some snack. 
Okay, so we at 50%, we need to charge it up to 80%, and it's gonna take us how long? 20 minutes, I think. 20? Probably 20 minutes, yeah. But for every, um, for every $15 I spend on mileage, a regular car with 20 miles per gallon will spend $50. And you spend 15? For every 15, uh -huh. any 20 mile per hour gallon car would spend 50. Mm -hmm. So, saving money. Saving money on gas, but wasting some time. <laughs> <laughs> it only, from, from almost all the way empty to full, it only costs like $17. That's pretty good, but you have to, even though it's a supercharger, it's not just like, you know, like we plug it at home. For the full night, it's a supercharger, it's supposed to be super fast, but, but you it's... have to wait. Yeah. Some, some of them aren't faster than others. Like the last one before this was only going to 295 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. And this one's charging at 456 miles per hour. So it's a little faster here. And that's great, but we're still gonna get the next. Expectation versus reality. Tesla, woo! Just waiting. Waiting. Just waiting. 